actually plastic urns. These are urns that we um, order from, I want to say Direct Floral is where we've ordered these urns from. They actually are a white urn that I've popped with a little bit of silver paint. Um, I also added Plaster of Paris down in the bottom of this container and actually, yeah, they're pretty stuck. I put Plaster of Paris down into the bottom of the container and then I stuck a piece of, um, this is just hard styrofoam down in there. Now, um, what I've done is I've taken a little bit of Spanish moss, and Spanish moss is messy, so when working with Spanish moss, just know it's going to make a good mess. I take that Spanish moss and come around this foam to try to camouflage it a little bit. And like I said, it just makes a terrible mess, so you will have to sweep it up if you're going to use Spanish moss in your arrangement. But I just like to use a little Spanish moss just to help me camouflage that foam. Sweetbriar says hello. Hello, Sweetbriar. Hello, friend. How are you? Okay, so these arrangements are a little different. Back in the summer, I actually made, I, I made several arrangements that matched, that were just like these. These are actually going to go on each side of the podium in the church. And so they don't need to be a traditional rectangle arrangement. So a lot of times when we do a church arrangement, it's a one-sided, almost a rectangle. Uh, no, not a rectangle, a triangle arrangement. Sorry, losing my mind, don't even know my shapes. Most often it's a triangle. These are actually gonna be very um, up, very parallel. They're just going to be um, pretty, pretty tall and then just kind of straight up. It's not gonna have a whole lot of width to it. Um, so I have placed that moss I'm going to start out with some lime flower, and the lime flower we're going to use are these artificial glad. So I have two bundles of artificial glad. Now, this is, you can do this in one of two ways. You can actually just take this stem and just stick it all the way down into the styrofoam just like that without cutting it off. Now, me personally, this is really bulky. This bottom part of this stem is really bulky. I don't like to just stick that right down in there because I find this is just so bulky. I'm gonna take and cut the individual flowers off the stem. So I'm just using um, my wire snips. Miss Mary Lou told us both happy Friday. Thank you, Miss Mary Lou. Thank you, happy Friday to you. So I just cut all five stems off um, of their, their one stem, and I'm going to take them and I'm going to dip them in my glue pan, and I am going to stick them right in the top of that container. So I'm just dipping and sticking. right down into the very top of the container, or the foam, okay? I'm gonna do the same on the second arrangement. I'm just taking and cutting those off. Miss Allison asked if these are for a wedding. These are not, Allison. These are actually just, so the church has a, I think it's the church's anniversary. So we did these arrangements. We did these arrangements back in the summertime, and we did several arrangements that matched these. Um, and so they just wanted a couple more to go by the, um, the podium at the church. So we're just matching those. So I'm just taking and dipping um, my stem down into that glue pan, and I am just placing all the glads in the top of this arrangement. I am going to add greenery at the end. Okay, so there's our glads in two separate containers. Next, we're going to come in with some. I think let's put a couple more glads. Just put in just a little more. So I'm going to put two more in each container.
everybody saying happy Friday. Hello, hello. Sunday. Happy Friday, guys. I want this to actually be pretty all the way around. Um, where it's placed is there's a podium and then there's the altar table. Um, and so I want it to be pretty on the side where the choir is sitting, sitting, but pretty on the, on the opposite side. But it's just kind of butting up against that podium. Next, I'm going to come in with some of these pretty white peonies, and it's kind of bright, but those are pretty white peonies. Miss Allison, oh, excuse me, Miss Allison said, "I bet your hands get a workout clipping <laughs> those artificial stems." They do, Allison. They do. Um, but these stems aren't too bad. I'm going to go grab one more bush of that those peonies over. Okay. the best wire snips that I have ever found. Um, they just work so well. Um, they're very easy to cut wire with. And so it's really not too bad, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna use the peonies. I'm gonna take them and just dip them in that glue. We're gonna come all the way around these, um, these glass with these peonies. And like I said, this is not gonna be a wide, a traditional wide arrangement that you've seen me do for a church. Miss Denise says she's watching from Australia. Hello, Denise, welcome. Uh, Miss Sweetbrier says, uh, what's the brand on the wire snips? These are cobalt wire snips. They're K-O-B-A-L-T, cobalt. Um, I picked these up from Lowe's. I know that you can order them on Amazon. But they're wonderful. I've never had any issues. Um, let's see. Dolly says, I love to work with artificial flowers. You can put them any way you want to. That's right, you can't mess it up, can you? You can always pull it out if you don't like it. Okay, so I took and put the peonies all the way around those clads, and I'm gonna do the same with its matching piece. These are such big, pretty flowers. And a hello from Tennessee. Hello, welcome, welcome. So Miss Victoria is here, but she is in the back room still working on a few orders. Um, like I said, we have been so busy today. We just hadn't gotten it all done. Here in our flower shop, we like to have every day complete. So like all of the orders that are ordered today for tomorrow, we like to have them pre-made. So that when we walk in tomorrow, we can we can fill any orders that come in tomorrow and everything for Saturday is ready. And so that's what Victoria is working on in the back. She and Callie are back there finishing up Saturday's orders. All right, so I have my white peonies in place. in Ms. With, Gilbert, oh, go ahead. No, Ms. Go ahead. says it looks it looks magnificent and white <laughs> yes very white isn't it it's very white um so next we're going to come in with this mixed bush of pinks it's shades of soft pink and some pretty pink hydrangeas now originally when i made these arrangements for the church we had some almost a two-toned a really jewel toned um hydrangea and I could not get my hands on those. And they wanted them for, they called me on Tuesday and they wanted them for Saturday. So when I spoke with my client, I told her what we had and she said, this will work. It won't be a problem at all. So we're going to use this shades of pink and tuck these in. So we're gonna use a few of these pink hydrangeas and then we're gonna use a few of these very soft pink um, 
roses in each of these arrangements. So I'm just going to take my snip. Bell's Bliss Designs, um, she said she has got, she, she says she's got to get on silk orders next week. They're coming in like crazy. Wow, I am with you, friend. I really need to get some cemetery work done. We haven't gotten any cemetery work done. Um, every time we get them made, we sell them, which is a wonderful thing. It's good to sell them, but you're like, geez, Louise, we're never going to get it finished. But when, when it's for tomorrow, you get yourself in here and you get it made, right? Okay, so I'm going to leave these um, deeper pink. I'm going to put these to the side. I'm just going to use the softer pink flowers that I've cut off. This Pauline says hello from New Zealand. Hello, welcome. So I'm going to take my roses. So it's only got two stems of roses. And this pretty pink one, I'm going to leave it on there, I think. So I'm going to just take and dip those stems right into that glue and tuck those right into the container. These are the hydrangeas. And you can see it's pretty compact. Uh, everything is really tight into this container. These are, um, it's almost like a little pretty filler flower. Ms. Lydon says hello from cold, wet Massachusetts. Hello, we're so glad you're here. I tell you, here in Mississippi, it's warm again. We're having, um, gosh, I think we, we probably made it to the 70s today. So it's warm again. We're going to take our second bush. We're going to cut it and add it to this one. Miss Natalie um, asked, what are these for? How much are they? I am not. I have to add them up, Natalie. I have not added them up. So I don't know the price yet. These are for a church um, sanctuary. And we are matching some arrangements that we did back in the spring. So these just kind of match what we did in the spring that they're just going to add to the church. They're having an anniversary, I believe, a church anniversary. And so they just wanted a couple more arrangements. And then we're, we did a couple of centerpieces also. Miss Tina says, said she's been watching you. Um, her fresh flowers have lasted way longer. Oh, I am so glad to hear that. That's wonderful. Okay, so I cut my stems off, and now I'm just going to do them just like place them into the arrangement, similar to where I placed those. And really, they're not going to be seen head on. They're going to butt like this. They're going to be back to back. They're going to be against the um, podium, similar to this. So, they're really not going to be seen head on. They just want the colors to be pretty similar. Miss Alma, Miss Alma asked if these are wine flowers. They're artificial flowers, Miss Alma. These are artificial flowers. And so I'm taking them and I'm dipping those stems right down into that glue and just putting it down into some hard styrofoam. Miss Dawn says she doesn't think she's ever seen you make artificial flowers for a church. Um, I'm, it has been a, a long time. It's been a while. I don't do them often, um, but Every When I'm asked to do them, I will do them. <laughs> but I don't do artificial flowers a whole, whole lot. Um, artificial flowers intimidate me. I do not know why I'm intimidated by um, artificial flowers. I think it's been one of those things where I feel like you have to live with it. <laughs> and so it always has, has intimidated me a little bit. Um, okay. Next, we are going to come in. These are the colors that they had in they have in their other 
arrangement. So we're gonna add just a little bit, a few pops of this color in. These are the exact flowers that they have in the other arrangements. So I'm just taking and cutting the flowers just off the, the bush. Ms. Gillens is finally catching me live from Texas. Always enjoy watching you create. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's see, let's see. So I'm just taking and using my snips and cutting off all those flowers. Now the other day I did a little tiny quick video called a reel and I showed you our flower cutter. And the cutter I showed you is actually made for fresh flowers. I have never had one of the large um, cutters for artificial flowers. Um, but I, I showed you like that large handled cutter and I may be interested in getting one of those that cuts artificial flowers because sometimes they're hard to cut. Oh, and I'm gonna grab some wire picks to give you some length. I apologize for not having all my ducks in a row. Sometimes, some afternoons are that way. Okay, so these flowers are short. They have little tiny short stems. So to lengthen their stems, I am going to use a little wire pick and I'm gonna take that wire pick and I'm gonna wrap it around that stem, just like that. And let me show you, I'm gonna take my corsage tape and I am going to tape that stem all the way down. Now the reason I'm choosing to tape it is because it helps keep that flower in place. It helps to keep that flower from coming loose from that stem. So what this did was it just lengthened that stem for me and made it a little longer so it would go into that arrangement. So I'm gonna take that wood pick and wrap it right around that stem and then tape it into place. Now years ago, we did exactly this with every single stem that we put into cemetery work. And you wanna talk about work. Um, and it was before I learned to glue all my flowers into place. We would just use a wood pick and tape, wire and tape every single stem. And I despised it. <laughs> Uh, well, it's just tedious little work. It's not easy work, and it doesn't go fast. You know, this is, I mean, you have to do each little stem just like this, and it doesn't go very fast. So for me, that was hard. Um, if you know me, I like the faster the better. If I can do it pretty quick, I'm a happy person. pretty long so I'm actually just going to stick it in. It's got a pretty long stem so I'm not going to worry about wiring and taping it. The stone says I'm amazed you didn't have to use a pick machine. Yes now we do use pick machines. Back then we used a lot we used a pick machine a whole lot. Um, these days I don't use it as much because I do a lot of dipping it in glue and sticking it in so I don't use a pick machine as much as I used to. I do have one and I do use it a little bit, but not nearly as much as I used to. But I'm just taking each of those stems using that little wood pick, wrapping that wire right around it, and then taking that tape, laying it right there at the top, and then twisting and pulling. Twist, pull, twist, pull. And the when you pull down, this tape is a paper tape and it's infused with a little bit of wax. And so as you pull, it will, um, it sticks, it gets sticky.
And it just helps that flower to stay on that stick if you'll take it. And like I said, it's just a little time consuming. It's just, it's just time consuming. But it's important that it stays together. Therefore, you do what it takes for your arrangement to stay together. And so that's the reason I'm putting these on picks and I'm taking them. You know, I've said a many a times that your mechanics are your most important part about the arrangement. You just don't want it to fall apart. And so that's exactly what this is for is you don't want it to come loose and come out and be too short and all the things. Now the reason I chose to put Plaster of Paris in the bottom of these containers is because the Plaster of Paris gives it weight. Plaster of Paris, you can actually pick it up at Walmart or at Lowe's. I bought, I think I buy a 20 pound bag at Lowe's. It's not terribly expensive. What it does is it's almost like Plaster of Paris is almost like a little concrete. It's not as heavy as concrete, but it's almost like a, you, if you've ever done any arts and crafts, Plaster of Paris is used a lot. But what it does is it hardens and it gives this container weight. I knew that these would sit on the floor beside the podium. And when they sit on the floor beside the podium, I didn't want them to be too lightweight. So every time someone bumped them, they'd fall over. And so that's why I chose to put Plaster of Paris in the bottom of the containers. Okay, so I have all of my little carnations um, put on wood bricks. Miss Kimberly's a beautiful arrangement as always. She Thank hasn't seen anything you. that wasn't beautiful. <laughs> You're too kind. Thank you, ma'am. siblings they're not identical twins okay next what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of eucalyptus so this is a um this is an artificial stem of silver dollar eucalyptus i ordered this i want to say i think that i got this from direct floral um online i just ordered it from that company it's really nice now it's kind of plastic when you feel it it's kind of a rubber type um material but I think they really look good. I actually used these throughout Chris the Christmas season and I stuck them in a Christmas tree and they worked perfectly. So I'm gonna take this stem, I'm gonna trim it up, I'm gonna dip it in glue and I'm going to put it kind of back here towards the back. I just want when we go to bump this container up against the podium that it has something back there kind of bump against. I mean, to kind of make it look nice on the back side. Well, the color combination will go with any color, with any decor. Yes, yes. And their church has a lot of pinks and burgundies and um, I think their carpet is even kind of a pinky mauve color. And so these work perfectly. Ms. Sharon says, learned so many things from watching and listening to, to you. I'm retired. A few days will be 76 and love gardening and usually always have something in a small vase around my sink. Oh, isn't that fun? There's nothing better than pretty flowers. Pretty flowers in your home. Thank you so much for being here with us. We're so glad you're here. Okay, so next I have a couple of stems. This is a eucalyptus I actually got off the truck um, the other day when I picked up some of these. So I'm going to take these stems and I'm just going to cut them off and come around the bottom.
Now this is actually where that pick machine would come in. Let me go grab it, Miss Dalton, and show you about a pick machine. machine. I don't even know where it came from. I think it came from uh, an old craft store that was going out of business. So a pick machine, um, this is called a Ryan, R-H-Y-N-E pick machine. Um, it is heavy and what it has in it is it has metal picks. And so what you do with this machine, it has a weight here. You drop your picks down in um, into this little contraption and it has a weight that holds down those picks. You pull this handle and it feeds the pick right into these these two little clamps you take your greenery lay it right into that machine and clamp it down but it didn't catch so what I'm gonna do to make it catch is I'm gonna thicken up this stem so I took that stem and I bent it into a little U shape I'm gonna feed that pick again and I clamped it right down so you see how it, it just kind of bit right onto that. I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of bit down onto that stem. Well, this pick will just stick right down into that foam and it, it holds. It kind of has little teeth that hold. Now, the one thing you have to be very careful about with this metal picks is they cut you like a knife. And so you'll just take your greenery, lay it into that pick machine, push that handle down and it just bites right down onto that stem and it gives you a, a metal pick. And so it just presses right down in to that foam and you don't have to worry about gluing each piece in because it has these tiny little teeth. I don't know if you can see those teeth at all. But it has tiny little teeth on that pick and it bites right into that foam. Now you can order these machines. I don't know now, these days, if a pick machine is nearly as important as it was one at one time. Um, for me, I use it so seldom. I would say if you're going to invest in equipment, a pick machine is not necessarily the equipment you need. There are so many ways to do it without a pick machine. But if you have one, this is exactly what it's used for. You just take this greenery, Lay it right down into that little metal pick, right in between those teeth, and you bend it down so it bites that little that little piece of greenery. And there is the greenery added into that arrangement. Um, Bell's Plus Design says the picks have gotten so expensive lately. The picks have? You know, I have not bought them in forever, and it's strictly because I don't use it enough. I don't use this machine very often, and so it's been a long time since I've bought those steel picks. But, I, you know, it's gotten to where everything's so expensive. Um, everything is just so terribly expensive to be able to to work with. I tell you honestly, I forget about this machine. I don't I use it so seldom, I really don't think about it. And so when Miss Dawn said, what about the pick machine? I thought, well heck yeah, I could go pull out the pick machine. But it may I mean this is pretty easy. It's not hard to use the pick machine and it does its job. It does a good job. I just find it's just as easy to take this and dip it right in that glue and stick it in as it is to use a pick machine. Dawn says the silver dollar takes this arrangement to the next level. Thanks! Yeah, I agree. I think, you know, I'm that eucalyptus girl. I use a lot of uke. And Miss Dolly says these are so beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. 
Okay, the final touch, the finishing touch for these arrangements is I'm gonna turn them around. So the main thing is, is we wanna make sure that when this arrangement is seen from the side, that it's got a pretty profile, right? So we want to make sure that we kind of move some of that around. Now, to finish off the back side of this arrangement, because I don't want this foam to show, and I don't know why this one little guy is stuck back here. So I'm pulling him out, and I'm gonna add some glue to him and put him over here on the side. Belle says, I've not used my pick machine as much anymore myself. After watching you, she uses glue. Yeah, I just find glue so easy. It's just there. It's easy to use. Um, and so that's the reason I use glue so much. This is just um, silk leather. Um, silk leather we use a lot in um, cemetery work, a lot of funeral work. I'm going to take this leather. I'm going to dip it right down into my glue. And I am just going to finish off the back side of this arrangement. Now guys, anytime you are working on an arrangement for someone, you always want to finish it. You do not want it not finished, okay? And so, what I mean by that is you don't want a naked back. Go ahead and put some greenery on that back side and make it pretty. Um, it's just important that it's finished. Okay, so there is our arrangement. The wonderful part about silks too, guys, is all of this is on wire, so you can kind of manipulate it and move it. I'm gonna turn this one around. We're gonna add some greenery on the back Ms. side. Ms. Beverly asks, do wood picks hold up as well and the foam is metal picks? Wood picks are gonna hold up just as well. Wood picks hold up beautifully in cemetery work, any kind of work you're working with. I have never had any issues with wood picks um, not holding up. Yeah, they hold up just as well. They, what a wood pick really is meant for is to give you that length. It's to help you with the length of the flower, or that's what I use them for. You can absolutely use anything that'll give it length. With this, with these arrangements, these arrangements are not going to be in any type of weather. They're going to be used on in interior always. And so, absolutely, you're not going to have any issues with them not holding up. Miss Connie says, beautiful, and hello from snowy Colorado. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. See how these are finished? That's a finished arrangement on the back side. And then there's the front side. And so we have two matching arrangements that are going to go on each side of the podium in the church. Um, but not only are they pretty on the front, but if anybody sees them from the back side, they're finished on the back. So it's just important that you always think about those things. And I know a lot of times you don't. You don't think about the back side, but if anybody sees it, it's important that it's finished. Any more questions, Owen? I think we're good to go. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us this afternoon. Thank you for always coming along with us and, and watching as we put together flowers and asking questions. It makes it so much more fun. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you all on Monday. Oh, and wait just a second because it takes some time for Facebook to shut down. Thanks, guys.